tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sketch out, how to draft the pattern for a durag. And you'll be needing some basic measurements. The basic measurements you'll be needing, I sorted them out already. So you just have to measure 30 inches here for your durag. 30 inches on this part. Then you're going to measure your edge round. I have 23 inches for mine. If it's if you are making a drag for a guy, you can use like 20 inches because they don't have here. So you divide the 23 inches by two, which gives us 11.5 inches. So you have your 11.5 inches here. So you can chop your 11.5 inches downward to where you have your 30 inches curve. So you draw a straight line. You draw a straight line upward. So this is where you have your 30 inches. So you measure three inches on this part. So you can just give it like a curve. So these three inches, you're going to measure it upward to three inches, three inches, three inches. So, you rule your 3 inches, but your 3 inches is not getting to the utmost part. So, you have to measure 8 inches downward. So, from these 8 inches, you are going to have your shape. So, you rule it to where you have your 8 inches. So, on these 8 inches part, on these other parts, you have, instead of 30 inches, you know this is like the hand where you tie it, but here you have 20 inches. So the 10 inches is what you tie around, around your head. So we have 20 inches here. So here, you have 7. So you leave like a space in between where the drag. I'll be I'll be linking up a picture with this video where you can see how to, what it looks like. So you rule this out. This is seven inches. So it's the seven inches that is staying at the back of your head. So here you just like make a curve linking up this and this together so you join this 20 inches this is 7 inches and from here to here is 20 inches so you roll it out like this so you just give it like a curve like head curve head is not four corner so you just give it like the curve at this upper part so you can have something like if you have something like this So you just keep it like <laughs> So you just give it like a shape showing the end. So you cut this pattern on fold. You cut it on fold. So from here to this point, I have 20 inches. From this point to this point, I have 30 inches. This part to this part, I have 3 inches. From this point to this point, I have 7 inches. So this gap is just like what you are leaving in between. This is one and a half. This space in between is one and a half. Then I measured eight inches downward here to make my cup and hole. So from here to here, I have eight inches. So now we can cut out our drag. Remember this part will be on fold. So we can cut out a pattern of the drag. Wait. <laughs> <laughs>
Is it advisable for us to use a paper before putting it on the normal material? Yeah, in case you want, you'd like to sell it to... You like to sell it, so it's just like a pattern, you just sit out. Sell it as in and making a commercial quantity or what? Yes. So for, with the pattern you drafted already, you just cut on any fabric you are using. So is it advisable to say one size for all? Is it advisable to say? One size for all. No, the only difference between the sizes is the head I measured around when I was making the sketch. So it depends. Like if I'm making for a guy, I have my hair on. If I'm making for a guy, it can't have up to 23 inches. It's only if the guy has a very big head that I would use 23 inches. But if we are making for a guy on low cuts and hump, he may use 20 inches. Alright, so here is my pattern for my do rag. So remember this place is on fold. So when you cut on fold, you can decide to cut this part out. You can just place this on the other fabric and cut the second pieces of it. So when you make the second pattern for this, like I have here, like I have here. So this is it. So this, I made it smaller because it's mine and I don't want it to cover up all of my back. So I made this, I made this six inches instead of seven that I used here. But if you see most of the pictures we have on Google, we have it as, we have it more on the guys. So now all you have to do now after cutting out this pattern in, on two folds is you just go to your lucky machine. Should I just machine then i locked it already but i'm just showing you how to do these things so you just lock it round like you lock this part then every other part you don't have to sew it at all you just have to lock it round then when you are tying it we have this this is was not it was it's not long enough as this so i corrected every error i made here on this new pattern i made so when you're tying it you have something like this so this is the part i had six inches now i made it seven inches on because you can fold parts anyhow you want it like this you can style it in any pattern that you want thank you for watching my channel i am unique excel if you enjoyed watching this video do well to subscribe hit the like button drop your comments in the comment section thank you